What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Dude here, and we're back with some Hero Coliseum. Now, today, guys, I'm going to do a team build. Shout out to Amelian Sandy. Now, I'm going to be doing the Fuse Damasu one as well because these two figures, these two um, characters in the show fought each other for a very brief time. What is that glare on my screen? That's not that bad. But these two characters um, fought each other for a very brief time in the show. Now, at the same time, it didn't last long. It lasted, like, maybe five minutes. What is that on my screen? clean this real quick guys watch this bang it's fixed look at that quick as a month but let's get it guys um fuse amasu and vegeto blue i feel like they go hand in hand so i'm gonna make two separate videos for them um uh shout out to million sandy you told me to do these two figures i will be making a team for both of them and then i will use their teams um i'll use the teams so i probably will do the vegeto blue team right now and then make a video for him um, after this, like a fight when I actually play on ranked, and then I will do another video of where um, Fuse and Masu is the team build, and then the fight in ranked. What is on my face, bro? Uh, it's hair. Wow. Forgot I had facial hair a little bit. Uh, um, number 194, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, guys. Um, level 60 out of 99. I really want to level 99 him because he is the attack version and just hits ridiculously hard. But. HP is 5,060, attack is 6,090, defense is 1,700, speed is 1,190. Um, Spirit Sword is his ultimate attack. I kind of wish he had Final Kamehameha, but he doesn't. That like actually kind of hurts me a little bit on the inside. Considering the Super Vegito has Super uh, has Spirit Sword, I don't understand why they wouldn't put it. This is Kamehameha, Final Kamehameha, but it doesn't matter, guys. The Ultimate Fused Warrior is his posing skill. Place on the trigger square to attack two opponents in the column in front. Repeatable, same thing as the Kid Buu, and then... And ignore opponent's defense when attacking you for HP 50% or low. This one you can do it with a little better. Where is the other one? Let's compare. No defense, but has a lot of more HP and a lot more speed. So you might be able to do it with this one. Maybe uh, more often, but in my opinion, he has more defense. And if you run some damage mitigators, it's not that bad. You can easily get to it without a problem, guys. But here's the deal. I look at two things. I look at how low of speed he has. And that is about it. That's the main issue with him is the speed. So you could run a bunch of figures. Now, just to name a few, you could run the God Q here. Um, don't switch places with the Vegito Blue Mugs. What are you doing, guys? But hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Now, the reason I'm putting him in there is because he busts attack. I'm going to just go over his posing skill. You, I've gone over some of these figures a million times because they're viable on almost every single deck you make. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm smacking the air. But... True power of a god, place on a trigger square for plus 700 to own attack, plus 160 attack to all allies, and plus 5% to own damage that repeatable. Bottom left and top middle are his trigger squares. Oh, I forgot to do this. Um, trigger squares are bottom left and top right, which I think are pretty interesting. It's the same thing as the Vegito Blue. And um, Future Gohan has opposite corners as well, but it's bottom left and top right opposite of Vegito Blue. But here's the deal. Right here, this is 5,000 speed, right? That is 7,000 speed, right? Um... No, this is 6,000 speed right here, or this is 5,190 speed. I don't know what I'm saying. Five. Now, what am I saying? It's 5,000 and like 200 speed. Not that much. So you can do another one where you could put, you could put the Piccolo in there, make it a two-lane setup, have a little bit more speed. So you're going to have like maybe max 7,000, 8,000 speed, which you're not going for speed here. You want to get his HP below 50%. Now, that is not the main goal of using Vegito Blue. I usually use him, same thing I use as a Kid Buu, to take out two figures at once and then get out of there. But once his HP becomes below 50%, he ignores defense like the Beerus. So he's going to be hitting for 6,000 damage every time, and not a lot of people have, like, 6,000 HP to, like, just give out. Like, look, not even close to six. Well, not even close to 6,000. Not kind of close to 6,000. But ignoring defense, you're guaranteed going to kill. He's gonna kill you with a double. He's gonna kill you, gonna kill you, gonna kill you, not gonna kill you, gonna kill you. Because if he's ignoring defense, like, it's GG. He's definitely gonna kill you. Definitely gonna kill the Bardock. Gonna kill this Omega Shenron with a double, or if you do some attack boosting. But since you are doing some attack boosting, because he does raise attack by 160 to all allies, which is so fantastic of a thing to do. Raising attack by a decent amount. So, next thing, you could run a big speed unit. You could, I honestly would run him instead of the God Q. So let's actually take out the God Q and let's put the trunks because now I'm really getting into it. 
Um, he's gonna have 5,000 speed, 5,440 speed, place on a trigger, power of hope, place on a trigger, square for plus 1,000 to own attack and speed, and minus 30% to damage taken by your master, stacks during that turn only, trigger squares are bottom left and top middle, very good, he's probably one of the best units in the game, he does have as much speed, if you have him with, um, you get him to level 99, he does compete with future Gohan in speed, easily, he gets 21,000 when you max level 99 him, I'm pretty sure you need max dupes into his, um, speed to get it close actually no because yeah you're pretty much going to be almost neck and neck with future go home when it comes to speed once you get him level 99 with maybe a couple dupes into his speed i don't have any dupes into you do you have any dupes into the other one i should have like one i have one what did i put it in speed that's what makes sense i do have a, i do have a one skills on him because he does have like 12,000 13,000 speed and he is the harder hitting one i did just pick that but for speed purposes right here bang bottom left corner he's guys giving the master 30 percent damage mitigation which is very good it's very defensive but right here is almost 6,000 speed well it is 6,000 speed because he's gonna have 5,000 speed after he gets that plus 1,000 from his uh posing skill phenomenal so that's 6,000 speed right here now you have a little leeway on who you can put in terms of getting past 10,000 speed because I like to set a goal like with a team if I can obviously if you want the highest speeding figures you put future Gohan you put you can put the cell you can put future Gohan Big Bang uh, not Big Bang Vegeta Big Bang Vegeta's one God Q or future Gohan him and freaking um future not future Gohan um Fuse Amasu even you're gonna have 14,000 16,000 speed guys but if you don't kill them it, it's not that good. So when I try to make a team, I try to make it as, like, attack-oriented as possible. But I want to at least try to get over 10,000 speed because not a lot of people have over 10,000 speed, but you might be able to inch them out or at least try to get 11,000 speed. Like, you need to be able to get those high figure, like, high um, speed numbers if that's your main goal of a team is to make speed. Now, obviously, guys, you could put him out. And you could instantly put the future Gohan in. And this is 8,000 speed right here. Like, that's 7,000 some... That's almost 8,000 speed right here with two figures. So, and then you could put... Say you want to put him on the field. Put the future... Put the trunks on here. And the top middle... Yes, they have 01 skills. Ignore the 01 skills. But I've been putting way too much 01 skills on. And I keep forgetting that I have them on. And then I make a team. And then I have a bunch of 01 skills. Where is the team that has it? Right here. Oh, one skill, oh, one skill, oh, one skill. And I completely forget that I have them on simply because I've been trying to do videos. I mean, just like I've been labbing, trying to make some different types of videos. I mean, make some different types of teams and stuff. And then I just forget. And then they're just, it just gets slapped on. And I'm like, oh, I messed up. This is a team. I forget who suggested this, but I will be doing this team very soon as well, guys. But a million Sandy, this is long overdue of a Vegito Blue team. And I love Vegito Blue as a figure. Every time I see it, I'm like, ooh, Vegito Blue. Because not a lot of people run him that much. I see more speed versions than attack versions because speed is speed. But right here is, <laughs> oh my god, this is like 12,000 speed right here. And then if you want to put him on the field, that is, <laughs> that is 11,000 to 13,000 speed right there. That is ridiculous. But put him on the field and you have an amazing squad right there. Or you could put, make this a very defensive oriented team right off the bat. Him, this is 8,000 speed, almost 10,000, 8,000 speed, almost 9,000 speed. And then boom, 10,000. I think it's a little under 10,000 speed, which I just mentioned. Mugs, what are you doing? You just mentioned you want over 10,000 speed if you're making a team. Uh, not so much. Him right here, he's going to be able to tank because he has a 700, 1,700 defense. And then he's going to be able to clean up whatever he can't kill. But he's going to kill, like, a fair amount of people simply due to, due to the fact that he's hitting all of them. So he's lowering all of their HP. He's going to worry about their HP. Like, the opponents you're facing, they usually will take out a figure when you get their HP low. Sometimes I don't do that because I like to play risky. But some people, as soon as they get an HP lowered to, like, below 30% or maybe even 50%, they're like, nah, I'm trying to get them out of there and... That is when you can just keep doing it. And he's attacking everybody, so all of their defense is getting lowered. All of their HP is getting lowered, both of them. But you could put the... Where's another amazing figure you could put? Now, obviously, you could put the Gogeta on it, and it, the team just becomes stupid good. But you could put the... Ignore the 01 skills, guys. I'm putting 01 skills on again. Hold the phone. Um, here, boom. This team, that is 10,000 speed, and you have so much attack going for you. Actually, now that the future Gohan's in, I'm going to take him out, actually. Boom. This right here is 5,000, 8,000 speed. This is almost 10,000 speed right here. 
which is phenomenal. He's giving the master that 30% damage and mitigation. He is going to hit stupidly freaking hard. Plain and simple. He has 6,610 attack, which means in one turn, when he gets up plus 1,500, when your master's HP is below above 50%, he's going to have 8,100 attack, which is stupid good. Like, that, that is... I can't stress enough how crazy high that is. But here's the deal. Right here is a very attack-oriented team, speed-oriented and everything. You could run the Golden Frieza behind him, and you get a decent amount of speed. Now, I don't have my Golden Freeze at very high level, but he does gain 500 speed per turn and suffers no damage when alone on the field. I'm going to actually go over the Go Tanks real quick, but you all know it. Place on a trigger score for plus 20% to ultimate attack gauge at the end of turn, plus 1500, plus 1500 to own attack, and plus 700 to own defense when your HP is 50% or more, and then plus 1000 to own attack. So he loses the 700 defense when your HP is 50% or less that turn only. Top left and top middle. And his super attack is super ghost comment. His ultimate attack is super ghost comment. Kamikaze attack. And then his is burning attack. And then sadly his is spiritual attack. So right now we have three figures that are very good. <clears throat> you could run that. You could run. I'm going to actually keep this. This is actually not that bad of a team. I might switch it though when I do do the video. Depending on what I see after. Because right now I'm filming the video like today on a tuesday so you're gonna see it on a wednesday but i could have a completely different idea tomorrow and be like oh i could do this and make this team a lot better but you could actually i'm gonna actually do something real quick <clears throat> you could do something amazing right here boom the vados now guys vados could go top right he could go bottom right and he could go top middle or he could go top middle they're lowering the attack by 30 percent with the vados and she hit, by the way, if you didn't know, plays on trigger score minus 30% to attack to all opponents on the field. Stack during that turn only. And then trigger square is top right. I'm going to wrap this video up pretty quickly, guys. But so far, this is a very good team because I would like to be able to use him in both of his trigger scores if needed. So you could put him in the bottom left and you could use these two people. Put him in the bottom right and you could use her and him or her him and him and it's just becoming an absolute monster of a team because she is tanking a fair amount in the game there's not so many people in this game that can tank quite like her but at the same time like she's lowering attack by 30 percent and then he's backing her up by attacking both of the people in front of him if the opponent puts two people and runs a double lane but guys another figure i was thinking i'm gonna actually take out the god uh, the go tanks for this Input, where's my favorite SR in the game? Bang, bro. I love using this SR Vegeta. Place on a Pride of the Pride of the Warrior Race. I'm going to go over his trigger squares and his posing skill because it's phenomenal. I think it's one of the best SR uh, posing skills in the game besides the Lord Slug. And I know there's a couple other ones that... Um, Extreme Battle Goku, that's another phenomenal SR. But place on a trigger square for plus 1,000 to own speed and minus 1,000 attack to all opponents on the field. So... This team, this rotation right here, boom, top right, bottom right, bottom middle, which is probably the best bottom middle unit besides Super Saiyan wow. 4 Goku and Bardock. And he's an SR because he's lowering their attack by 1,000. She's lowering it by another 30%. 30, 30 I don't know why I said 30%, weird, but bottom right, and you're taking people out, and he's going to tank. Do you have the more HP? I don't. You have the lesser defense, but you're lowering attack by 1,000. You're lowering it by, three, uh, by 30%. You should be fine, and you should do a decent amount of damage. Now, right here, this is a lot of low HP characters, which I don't typically like to do. So, real quick, you could do, you could do that, and then you could put the piccolo. Let's take out the trunks and put the pickle and show you a defensive setup real quick. Now, this is super defensive, but top middle obviously plays on a trigger score for plus 350 to own defense repeatable and plus 5000 to ma your master's defense stacks on that turn only top middle trigger square special beam cannon is his old his oldest final flash and then his trigger square is bottom middle top left and then hers is top right and requiem of destruction now right here top middle top left bottom middle you're lowering the attack by a thousand so you might be able to tank a little bit better he's going to tank better and then you're supplying the 5,000 defense to the master. Meanwhile, if you can get his defense below, I mean, his HP below 50%, then that is when you do this. You put a speed figure on, like future Gohan. Boom, right here. And then, you, and then you're going first, which means, because this, this rotation is stupid, 
He's going to gain 1,000 speed, so it's uh, 4,200 then, because he's going to gain 1,000 speed from his posing skill. 6,550 speed, so that is 10,000 right here. 12,000 speed almost, depending on what the other numbers are. That is an insane so team. So right here is a very defensive team when you need to be. So run this setup, boom, boom, and boom, until you get his HP below 50%, or you could do the bottom middle, top right, bottom right, or you could do the top middle, top right, bottom right. And then when you get his HP below fi uh, 50%, that is when you run the insane figures of just and attack and speed guys but that is going to do it for the video i'm actually probably going to use this team because this is actually a fairly well balanced team and you can use but you can utilize vegeto blue in both of his trigger squares but that is going to do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed a million sandy that one's for you bro i will be doing the fuse amasu one obviously but that's going to do it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed like comment and subscribe as always guys hope you guys had a fantastic day did deduces everybody